I thought I was happy, but the things that I thought, I'm going to get emotional, I don't want to. The things that I thought was making me happy, they don't, they don't cut it anymore. Taraji P. Henson was born on September 11, 1970, in Washington, D.C., and she then later moved to Maryland with her mother, who recently divorced. She then went to North Carolina, A&T, State of University, to pursue a degree in electrical engineering, but dropped out after failing a math class. She decided to enroll in theater at Howard University, and this was the beginning of her acting career. By the time she graduated from Howard University in 1995, she would have an infant son and they both moved to Los Angeles. She then appeared on TV for recurring roles as an inspector on a cop show called The Division and as an associate lawyer on Boston Legal. She also gained a lot of attention for her portrayal of Detective Josh Carter in the TV crime series Person of Interest. In fact, the fans were real angry when her role was killed in a shootout with a crooked cop in season three. She would then graduate from being in TV shows to acting in films. Her breakthrough movie role would be Baby Boy, directed by John Singleton when she played the part of Tyree's son's mother in John Singleton's Baby Boy. From there, she would play a role in Hustle and Flow as a pregnant prostitute, Suge, with Terrence Howard. Taraji would also perform It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp, an Academy Award winning song on Hustle and Flow. Dope movie, go check that out, as well as Baby Boy. Taraji would also cast Katherine Johnson Hidden Figures as a mathematician who played a key role at NASA in the 1960s. She then started in Tyler Perry's Acrimony, which follows a loyal wife who decides to take revenge on her ex-husband who did her wrong. One of her most popular and successful roles to date is the musical TV drama Empire. Taraji would reunite with actor Terrence Howard and play her role as Cookie. In the premiere episode, Cookie emerges from prison wearing a white fur coat and one of her signature animal prints mini dress, having served 17 years for drug trafficking. She then returned to her ex-husband and their three sons demanding her share of the family hip-hop empire, which was initially founded with her drug money. Personally, I didn't really care too much for the concept of empire, but I am so glad that she got the part and killed it. I just wasn't a fan of the stereotype that was behind it. Like, why can't a black family be able to create a record empire that was hard earned money? Why do they have to be a drug dealer? So whoever wrote the story, I think was Lee Daniels. You know, I think we need to get away from the stereotype, but let's move on and keep on giving Taraji her flowers. Taraji P. Henson is considered Hollywood royalty. Yet, she says it took working with Tyler Perry to finally get what she's worth. Taraji would reveal that there was a point in her career that she had to continuously prove herself to get every penny that she's worth. Working hard to prove herself finally changed when she started working with Tyler Perry, who was the first to not waver on her expectations. So let me say this, this story's been heard several times. There's a lot of black female actresses who's not getting paid what they're worth. And I think Hollywood needs to be fair. Taraji was asking for a half a million dollars and would not get paid that until she did her first Tyler Perry film. After that, Taraji was in a space in her career where she could turn down roles that wasn't paying good. Because of the sequential amount Taraji made playing the role, April in the 2009 film, I Can Do Bad By Myself with Tyler Perry, it opened up doors for her to command bigger salaries for any project moving forward, which also would lead her to eventually making a reported $175,000 per episode for her character, Cookie, by the time Empire had entered the second series. Taraji P. Henderson is also an advocate for mental health and recently opened up about her journey in her current state of happiness during an interview with Angie Martinez. When she was asked how happy she is, she would go on to say that she didn't know to be quite honest as she held back her tears from falling. She would go on to say that she thought she was happy, but the things that she thought was making her happy didn't anymore. She also stated that she hasn't been happy in a long time. The things that 
made me happy before. Like, you know, when I was going to get married and I didn't work out. It's not that. It's not marriage. It's not right. a man. It's not. So it's for me to tap in to find my happiness. And to be quite honest with you, Angie, I haven't been happy, like purely happy in a long time. Oh, give me your hand. I haven't. I'm sorry. Hinton will go on to say that she's aware that her current mental status is just a wake up call and that she's still here, still living and still trying to find happiness. The Oscar winning actress says she is excited to embark on this next chapter in her life to focus on being happy. So let me say this. You know, it's a fight in the industry, the entertainment industry overall. And I think a lot of actresses, entertainers go through a situation where they may have to work so hard to get where they are and that some of the things that they might have done probably will follow them from the rest of their life and make them depressed. I'm not saying that's the case. So I'm going to say this. Taraji, the actress, is a legend of this time. And now that she made it to the top, what I believe that she's struggling with is all the things she had to go through to get there. And when you're talking about the entertainment industry, you know that it's a very dark industry. I know that it's a very dark industry. And today, it's still a very dark industry. And now that she came out on top, and I think Taraji's goal is to head towards the light and get rid of the darkness that she went through in her life, which is probably the hardest thing to do because we don't know what Taraji had to go through to get where she's at. We don't know her struggles. And the thing about Hollywood, we know everybody in Hollywood is fake. So you spend your whole life, let's think like Taraji, she was doing this since the 90s. You know what I mean? When she got into this business and just imagine being in a business like acting, you know, to go every day being around people that are pretty much fake. Now, I'm not saying this, but we hear the stories all the time about the industry, about how fake people are. And she had to do that for years to like separate fakeness to what's real. And half of the time being in this industry, you start to accept fakeness as real, you know? And I think that's part of Taraji's depression, Taraji's unhappiness, who knows? But what I do know is that Taraji is a legend in our time and I'm giving her her flowers. All the movies that she's been in, I love and I hope that she keeps giving us the work she's been giving us throughout her whole career and I wish her the best and I wish she finds her happiness. When you get in, I was very clear when I had my conversation with God, I said, I want longevity. I want work that's going to last beyond my, my life on this earth. I want work that people are going to study long after I'm gone, right? I'm very clear on that. And a lot of times that doesn't come with the accolades. My name is Antoine and you're watching Urban TV On Demand.